<laughs> Probably not. You would have made me record myself again later. So lesson 8.2. Today we're looking at what's called the focus of a parabola. Okay? The focus of a parabola. So our goal today, students, will be able to find the focus of a parabola. Order of operations. We're going to define what the focus of a parabola is and how to find it. We're going to look at not one, but two examples. And then we are going to have some practice, which because of time and how much time we spend on the warm-up, we might skip a really good class kick that I made. Yay! I said maybe. No. No, we probably will. So I want to Yay! Look at so, the focus of a parabola. The focus of a parabola is a fixed point on the interior of a parabola. So stop right there. A fixed point, so it is a set point like you can see in all of these images. It is a set point and it is on the inside of our parabola. So if we look at this middle image, in other words, we could not have a focus that is like on the outside or over here or something like that. It has to be on the interior of our parabola. Um, the focus lies on the axis of symmetry. So now we're getting a little bit more specific. If we have our axis of symmetry in the middle, we could not have our focus, even though these points are on the interior, none of them are on our axis of symmetry. So now it just looks like our parabola has bigger points, but um, none of those could be on our focus. Oh, a parabola wrapped around the focus. So it's kind of difficult to see and even get an idea of what it's talking about, but the reason that we look at what a focus even is is because our parabola could, in a sense, wrap around um, that focus point that is on the axis of symmetry and that is, um, that is yeah, that is on the axis of symmetry, okay? function. So here's how we find the focus. The function in the form y equals ax squared. That is our problem. The focus is, so, so one thing to point out before we even look at this, the focus is a point on our graph. So when we look at what the focus is, it's at 0 and then 1 over 4 p. Okay? 1 over 4 times p. Now, so far, well not so far, most of the time our axis of symmetry is at, has been at zero, okay? But it is not always going to be at zero. So this x value is whatever our, you can see that, yeah, axis of symmetry is, okay? So make a note, I mean you can write down that, you know, the focus equals zero comma one over four p. So just make a note that that x value is whatever our axis of symmetry is. Because if we had a parabola that looked like this, our axis of symmetry, say, was at x equals 2, it wouldn't make sense for our focus to be, it would break all our rules if our focus was over here, right? Focus has to be on the axis of symmetry, so make sure you make the note that I mean, you put zero in the formula version, but that zero would be our axis. Now, one over four times p. In other places, if you were to look this up in our textbook, they would say that instead of one over four times p, they have one over four times a, because that is our the same thing as our a value in our um, quadratic equation. So the p and the a value are the same thing. Now the reason that we use p right here instead of a is because that's what they do in algebra 2. So we're kind of getting you used to what you'll see in algebra 2. But if you want to make a note that says that a is equal to p, that a and p are the same thing, then that would probably be a good idea. All right? Everything we're doing today is focusing. 
focusing on uh, finding the focus of our parabola. So our first example, we have, like I said, one, two examples, and we're skipping practice. So time to lock in for just a couple more minutes. Graph y equals negative one fourth x squared, and identify the focus. So first thing, if we're going to graph it, just like always, we want to make a table. Now the table that I have here is more extensive than what we typically do. Right? Typically we have our x and our y, negative one, zero, and one. And that's enough for us. So this is what we're going to go with right here. We can just not worry about all of those. But we could. We could plug negative 4, negative 2, 0, 2, and 4 in for x. It would probably be good practice. But anyway, x should have been right. That's what I want to do. We plug negative 4 in for x. Negative 4 squared is what? Negative 4 squared. What? 16. 16. Good. Negative 1 fourth times 16. Let's see. 1 times 16 is 16. 16 divided by 4 is 4, and there's a negative in front, so we have negative 4. Perfect. Negative 2 squared is what? Four. Good job. Thank you for the one person that was participating. Negative one fourth. And negative two squared is four. So negative one fourth times four. One times four is four. Divided by four is one. So we have negative one. Zero squared is what? There we go. Zero. Good job, everybody. Zero times negative one fourth is still zero. Like we said earlier, two squared is four. So we should get all the near points here for our y value. If we graph it, we have negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. I guess I didn't do it wrong. So we go negative 2, 1, So we graphed it, boom. That identifies the focus. So just like the thing, big picture, our focus we know has to be on the interior of our parabola, right? We know that for sure. Um, we also know that it has to be on our axis of symmetry. So our axis of symmetry is x equals zero. So we know it has to be on this line somewhere. So if we get a point for our focus, we know our focus is gonna be at zero something. If we get a point for our focus that is positive three, does that make sense? Does that make sense? It would? Is that on the interior of our parabola? No. <coughs> nope. So we know that our, our focus, whatever, it's going to be at zero something. We know it has to be in the negative, right? Because that's on the interior of our parabola. Our parabola is facing down. So remember, our focus equals one over four times p. What is our p value in this situation? In this case? Tad, what's our p value? What do we say p equals? What do we say p is the same as? What was I talking about right up here? I said, write this down. P is the exact same thing as something. Okay. Nope. All right, take your headphones out for me, because that's telling me that we're not working right. P is the exact same thing as A. Like I said, write in your notes, P equals A. We just use different letters because that's how you'll see it in Algebra 2. So we're getting you ready for Algebra 2. Now go to tab. Take your head off, please. It's blocking your ears, too. Let me make sure we can hear everything I'm saying. P is the same.
same thing as A. So what is our A value in this situation? Not quite. What is our A value? Anybody, what is our A value? Negative one four. Thank you. Maybe we do need to do some classification because we have zero, almost zero. Negative one four. Do we put that in for our C? Four times negative one fourth would just give us negative one. So our second point, our focus here, is just negative one. So zero. makes sense for what we know about where the focus needs to be, right? We knew it had to be on the interior of our problem, and it is, and we also knew it had to be on our axis of symmetry, which means we made it, our x value at zero, so we're all good there. And we also knew that it had to be negative, right? In order to be on the interior, it had to be negative. So everything checks out, and we find our focus. The last type of question, or the second type of question you'll see with this one, write the equation of the parabola. So this time we are writing the equation. With, with the focus of 0, 4, so this time they tell us the fo focus, and the vertex is at the origin. So the vertex is at 0, 0. Correct? We know that to find the y value of our focus is 1 over 4 times t, and we need to write the equation. So we need to find what this a value would be. Remember, Chad, what is our a value the same as? P. P, perfect. So if we can find P, then we can find our a value. Okay? Now they tell us, again, we find our focus by doing 1 over 4 times P. It gives us our focus. Whatever that y value of our focus is. Well, in our question, they tell us the focus is at 0, 4. So they already give us what the focus is. So what can we set 1 over 4p equal to? What do we think? What can we set it equal to? They already give us the focus this time. And we need to find our p value. So of that point in our focus, 0 or 4, what can we set our equation to? Sure. So you have two numbers, zero or four. We would set it equal to four. Yep. We would set it equal to four. Because remember, zero is just our axis of symmetry. So they tell us the vertex is at the origin, so our axis of symmetry is right at the origin at zero. And when we are using this 1 over 4p that we talked about here, again, this helps us find our y value of our focus. We already know the x value, so it helps us find our y value. So if they tell us our focus is at 0, 4, then we can use that 4 to help us find our p value. Now, if I were solving this, there's a couple different ways to do it. If I were solving this, I would go put a 1 underneath 4, and I would cross multiply. Cross multiplying is the easiest way to get rid of those fractions. So you guys, you guys have talked about cross multiplying, right? You're familiar with that? Okay. So we have 4 times 4p four equals 1. 1 times 1 is still 1. What questions do we have? Okay, just to go over it one more time. Because I get 
bromine aligned, and now we're dealing with a parabola, which isn't aligned, and there's a lot of changes. But we're looking at this thing called a focus, and we're trying to find it. The, it's a point on our graph, so it's an X and a Y. Our X value of our focus is just going to be our axis of symmetry. Right, we know every time our x value is going to be our axis of symmetry. Typically on our graph so far, that axis of symmetry has been zero. But other times it hasn't been zero. Our y value of our focus, we find by doing 1 over 4 times p. Okay? And again, sometimes we'll see it as 1 over 4 times a because our p value is the same as our a value. But for whatever reason, in Algebra 2, they use P instead of A. So we're going with what you'll see in Algebra 2. So to find that Y value of our focus, we go 1 over 4 times P, and we can find the Y value. Most of our questions will be, well, I don't know about most. Half our questions will be like this, where you need to graph it and then give and find the focus. And then a lot of the questions will be like this as well, where they give you the focus, and you have to solve for P. Okay, two different types of questions. So why don't you log in the class kit, type in this code. There are three questions on the class kit that I need to that you need to get stars on before we get the worksheet.